Hey guys, so today I'm here with yet another State of Jailbreak video. So today I'm going to be talking about two new updates for 4.1 jailbreaking programs. So the first one is going to be Red Snow 0.9.6. So this latest version of Red Snow will jailbreak iOS 4.1 on the iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2nd generation. So if you have one of these two devices, you will be able to be fully jailbroken on 4.1. However, there is one thing that you will need to know. And that if you have an MC model of the iPod Touch second generation, you will be a tethered jailbreak. It will be a tethered jailbreak. I'm sure most of you guys know what a tethered jailbreak is. If not, basically, every time you go to shut off your iPod, not like, you know, you know like just shutting off, like locking it, but actually fully shutting it off like this when you actually get the uh, slide to power off, either that or the battery runs out. Um, anytime that happens, you will need to go ahead and plug it into a computer and rerun Red Snow. So basically you're tethered to a computer and you know anytime it shuts off you need to go ahead and plug it in and rerun it. So for that reason I really don't recommend tethered jailbreak especially because there is going to be a new jailbreak coming out soon. However if you have an MB model or the iPhone 3G I say definitely go for it. It's a really good jailbreak. It will enable uh, multitasking, background wallpaper, all that kind of good stuff. So definitely if you have uh, an iPhone or iPhone 3G or iPod Touch second generation I say go for it. Unfortunately, it is Mac only for the moment, so I actually have not been able to do a tutorial because I do not have a Mac. Um, but if you have a Mac, you can go ahead and do it right now. If you have a Windows computer like me, the latest Red Snow update will be ported over probably any day now. I think all that we're waiting on is just a couple of bugs to be fixed. So, pretty good news there. Uh, definitely like Red Snow a lot, and I will make a tutorial on it when it comes out. The next thing I wanted to talk about is Snow Breeze 2.0. Uh, so this one actually is more of a warning, and I really cannot recommend to to anybody really to use Snowbreeze right now. Basically, the main reason is is that it is not really working for most people, including myself. Uh, so, yeah, I think Snowbreeze will be able to be uh, fixed. I think as I hate snow, it was able to work out some of the bugs because you know anytime I tried it, and quite, along with quite a few other people, iTunes pretty much always gave some sort of error. And of course, guys, you know me, I'm really big into jailbreaking, so I pretty much tried everything I could. Um, I downgraded to several different firmwares, jailbroke on all of them, uh, put my iPod into DFU mode, I don't know how many times. I tried pretty much every trick that I could think of. Still, it was not enough to go ahead and get Snowbreeze to work. Uh, so, guys, really do not recommend to use Snowbreeze right now, especially because it's pretty complicated. Um, for example, like if you have an iPhone 3GS, uh, new boot ROM and you try to do the method for the old boot ROM, you can actually go ahead and set it into a DFU mode loop, uh, which is never good because that's actually kind of a kind of a big deal. So guys, definitely do want to recommend stay away from Snowberries 2.0 for right now. Now once I hate snow is able to go ahead and fix it all up, um, I've actually once I'm able to test it, once I actually do see that it works just fine, I absolutely will make a tutorial showing you guys how to do it. But in the meantime, do want to recommend that you guys stay away from it. So anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I uh, just wanted to let, talk, talk to you, let you a little bit know a little bit about the latest two updates. Uh, now of course there's going to be another jailbreak. I know, it's kind of hard to keep track of all this. There's going to be another jailbreak here, hopefully in the next week, two weeks, maybe a month, I don't know. Uh, the, the Chronic Dev Team as well as the iPhone Dev Team are working on. And this one is going to be the Shattered Jailbreak, or there's a lot of different names, Green Poison. Uh, this one will jailbreak pretty much everything. Should be a pretty simple jailbreak. So, um, you know, if you can't jailbreak right now on Snowbreeze, or you don't have a device that's supported by Red Snow, don't worry. The next jailbreak will be coming fairly soon, and I, of course, will make a full tutorial as soon as it's available. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to give you some updates, like keep you all in the loop. You know, I always like to... That's what these State of Jailbreak videos are for, to keep everyone informed. Uh, you know, I get a lot of questions and stuff like, hey, does this work? Hey, does that work? So, I always want to go ahead and just do it in video form to answer everybody all at once and, you know, even somebody who didn't know. So, guys, that's pretty much it. And I'd like to thank you for watching this kind of long and rambly sort of video. I just had a lot to get through. And, yeah, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching.